Center for the Ethiopian Educational Information and Communication Technology presents Educational Satellite Television Programs. Hello, teacher. Hello, students. Welcome to today's lesson on trade and globalization. In this lesson, we will focus on developing your English writing skills by discussing fair trade. When we are finished, you will work together using your essay writing skills to explain the benefits of fair trade. Are you ready, students? Let us begin. We must begin by explaining a bit about fair trade to make sure that we understand the topic. Fair trade connects producers and consumers in more equitable, meaningful, and sustainable ways. Fair trade is based on seven principles as quoted by the Fair Trade Federation, the largest association of fair trade organizations. Part of the FTF's mandate is to guarantee that small businesses and their employees receive fair compensation for their efforts. However, paying fair wages does not necessarily mean that the products cost the consumer more. Since fair trade organizations bypass potentially exploitative middlemen and work directly with producers, they are able to cut costs and return a greater percentage of the retail price to the producers. Fair trade organizations work primarily with small businesses, worker-owned and democratically run cooperatives and associations, which bring significant benefits to workers and their communities. Now that we understand the basics, here is our objective. The Ethiopian Fine Coffee Committee is committed to guaranteeing that all Ethiopian coffee growers can get a fair return on their product. Therefore, the committee has commissioned you with the task of preparing a leaflet about fair trade. The goal of the leaflet is to persuade customers in Western countries like the United States and the United Kingdom to buy Ethiopian fair trade coffee. Before you draft your new project, let us first do an activity. Working with a partner, think about and discuss the concept of fair trade. Brainstorm to come up with some ideas about what type of information you would like to put in your leaflet. Write a brief outline that roughly describes the content of your leaflet. Students, let's get ready. <laughs> Begin.
Time's up! Let's get back to our lesson. Hello again, everyone. Are you ready to continue? There are many different ideas you may have suggested that would fit in a leaflet on Ethiopian fair trade coffee. Since this is an article that is meant to persuade, we must decide what kinds of information will capture the attention of coffee drinkers in the U.S. and U.K. Perhaps you appealed to the humanitarian aspects of fair trade and plan to put information on how the purchase of fair trade coffee benefits farmers and workers by guaranteeing better wages for employees and more of a return on the resources devoted by small businesses. Many of you probably chose to say that the coffee produced in Ethiopia is of very high quality and just as good or better than coffee found anywhere else in the world. However, you may also find that you do not have enough information about fair trade to complete the leaflet. Do not worry, students. Together, let us see what else there is to learn. In this next activity, you will choose a different partner. Working with your new partner, trade any information you might have on fair trade and Ethiopian coffee. Make sure you take notes so that you can include some of these points in your leaflet later on. I will see you in a few minutes. Students, let's get ready. Begin.
Time's up! Let's get back to our lesson. Hello again, students. Hopefully, each of you had something new to share with your partner on what may make a valid point in your leaflet. Let us discuss some facts about fair trade and Ethiopian coffee that may further improve your expertise. An important thing to know is that all of the profits generated from exported goods, Ethiopian coffee, represents 60% of the total. Therefore, if foreign nations support free trade coffees, the quality of life may dramatically improve for many people in Ethiopia. The average coffee bean farmer makes only $900 per year. Fair trade practices would go a long way to increasing the wages of these farmers and guaranteeing that the sale of Ethiopian coffee remains possible. Furthermore, the cost of coffees produced in Ethiopia is three times as expensive to its residents than it is to foreign nations. Fair trade agreements would likely rebalance this difference over time. These are just a few examples of what kind of information is available. You are also strongly encouraged to find additional data yourself after the lesson is over. The more information you have to put in your leaflet, the more persuasive it will be. As a final activity, let us consider some of the other ways we might be able to gather data. Where can you find more information on fair trade and Ethiopian coffee? Students, let's get ready. Begin. Time's up! Let's get back to our lesson. Welcome back, everyone. I imagine all of you have a good idea of where you might research the topic of free trade to get more information. 
You may have decided that the best place to get information would be the Internet. There are several sites online that talk specifically about free trade practices and initiatives that would be very appropriate when finding content for your leaflet. You may have also suggested a book on fair trade. The topic of free trade has been discussed for a very long time, so you may be able to find a publication with significant additional data. Of course, you could also ask your teacher. It is likely that in preparation for today's lesson, they have done some additional reading on this topic, and perhaps they know more. You may even decide to visit a local coffee retailer or farmer to discuss how they feel free trade benefits their living situation. This may add a personal aspect to your leaflet, making it a more persuasive piece. Lastly, you can also look at other leaflets about free trade to get a better idea of proper formatting and structure. Now that we have some idea of what your leaflets will look like, the rest is up to you. After the lesson is over, you may begin writing the leaflet using your outline, brainstorming notes, and facts. You can do additional research on your own using some of the above suggestions or perhaps others that you have determined amongst yourselves. Also, make sure your leaflet includes pictures to give it a strong visual impact. This concludes our lesson for today. We have discussed some of the possible writing techniques for producing a leaflet on the fair trade of Ethiopian coffee. Good luck with the rest of your project. I will see you next time where we will be focusing on developing additional strategies for expanding your vocabulary. Until then, thank you, teacher. Thank you, students.